Boozer, you there? Booze man, come back. Deke, hey, I'm here. We've been going on a farewell. The Nero guy, the soldier, or whatever the hell he was, who took Sarah. Wait, what, what are you... He had an ID badge. What was the name? Oh, God, O'Brien. He wouldn't shut up about it. All the way out to Three Finger Jack. Boozer, he's alive. What are you talking about? We were there. The whole camp was wiped out. No, I know that, but I heard... Okay, look, I went into their LZ, and they... Wait, wait, you, you went into their LZ? What the... Just listen. I heard the radio. They were talking about a man named O'Brien. Not! Boozer, I'm not. I'm just... This is... Sneaking out. those nests. I've been seeing more freaks up here. Boozer, no, no, you're gonna get yourself killed. Uh, you gotta wait till you're whole, brother. Uh, I'm over here anyway, so I'll take care of the mess. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I uh, always need more shit. Thanks, brother. Deacon out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Who remembers the skid rows of this great country? People living on the streets in boxes and tents because they couldn't afford the American dream. Some of those good people fought for this very country. Only... ...to have the feds forget about them as soon as they were done with them. 
doesn't stand for post-traumatic stress disorder. It stands for put them soldiers down. Well, we're all homeless now. Living in the wilderness in the way of our forebearers. The feds used to think we needed their welfare and handouts to survive. We showed them how wrong they were. What we need now is a strong will, determination, and trust in each other. The feds were never gonna give us that. And you? You want our trust? You gotta earn it. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Radio Free Oregon is on the air once again. Jesus, what have I done? Jesus, something went there. Okay. Okay, let's take a look around. Gotcha. Okay, let's see. What's going on here? There you are. This is it. Which way? Back on track. Thank you. 
wonder if there's anything in that name. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The start of this living hell that is now our life came as a surprise to no one who was listening to me when shit went down. And I was one of the few. Uh, Most who spoke out against the feds, well, they didn't go so great for them. The cemeteries are filled with martyrs. Those who oh, sought to call out the it. bullshit were well, lies when they saw it. I know, because they came after me. I started Radio Free Oregon in the last weeks before the feds fell. Broadcast uh, from an unmarked van, moving it. from town to town. In the days before the roads came choked with cars and the bridges destroyed, yes. trying in vain to Good. stop the freaks. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. No cope. The cemeteries are filled with freakers, not martyrs. And you had to keep moving because if anyone had found your unmarked van, they'd have blown it to hell. Just so we. Oh yes. Wait, no, not this way. All of them? Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> Feels, yes. Clear them out. I gotta make it safer to ride through here.
Renegades, oh god damn it, don't let them see me. Yes, I'll come back later. Let's burn out these nests. Yeah, that's right. I gotta burn out the rest of these nests. Sniper ambush, oh god damn it. Marauder camp. These are the assholes who've been ambushing the roads around here. Tucker, Alki. Over at the dig site. Well, which one, goddammit? The north one. Back there. If anybody touches this bike or anything on it, I break your fingers. Whatever, man. Jesus. I keep telling you, everywhere you look, it's all one giant lava field. 25 feet solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to... I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I get it. No, you don't. But these people are hungry, even if they had all their strength. It'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit! We're all hungry, Al. But this job's gotta get done whether it takes all goddamn year. It's not like we got somewhere else to be now, do we? Wait. Not finished. We'll make it quick, will ya, Al? I got things to do. Rippers. This morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them? How the f... Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? Al! Are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I... I don't know. Maybe he knows. <laughs> what the fuck are you up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, Alki. It's not his job to know. It's your goddamn job to know. I can't be at two places at one time. You're the one me here, running your dig. You want me out there in the shit. Chasing the Rippers. 
go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? Oh, I don't know, I'm just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. Don't! Did you track down Leon? Good thing someone around here knows how to make things happen. Ride with me. How long's it been since you found someone, brought him in? The kind of people left out in the shit aren't the kind of people you want me bringing in. We lost two more to the fever. It's not my problem. You want our food? I'm making it your problem. I told you, we'll do runs for you, but we're not joining your goddamn camp. Remind me again, my old woman's memory. Why is that? Because it's a waste of time, Tuck. <laughs> well, aren't you the optimist? Where's Boozer? He said he was gonna head over to Copeland's camp, see about trading for some fish. You're not in bed with Cope now, are you? His camp near yours? It's not closer or further. Look, I'm not Boozer's old lady. He goes where he wants. <laughs> Jesus. You keep the shit burning all day and night. Got a lot of freak corpses piling up out here. How can you stand With men like you doing the jobs. Damn right we keep it burning. Try using more gasoline. It burns faster, less fumes. Like we got so much to spare? When it's all gone, what are you gonna put in that bike of yours? Spit and sweat? Now what the hell is going on here? The count's off. Storage is missing food and some ammo. Jesus. Who was on watch last night? Wheeler. Tonight, double the watch. This shit's starting to piss me off. You got it. Trouble in paradise? It's like I was saying. Camp's like a prison. Bunch of goddamn lazy liars, thieves, rapists, and murderers. You know why that is? No idea. Cause that's who we are. The freak show. Only folks survived were those mean enough, nasty enough to out-freak the freaks. The rest are here. Hoping I feed them, protect them, keep them nice and cozy and warm, so they can sit on their asses and watch the world end. You! Get your ass back to work! Don't make me go get Cyrus! Lazy sons of bitches. Can screw around all they like on their time. Daytime is my time. Running this camp is no different than running a prison. I can't remember what you said. You were... you were what? You were a warden or something? <laughs> Nothing so high and mighty. I was matron of the women's ward. You look like the sort who might have spent some time in the pen, back in the day. You ever do time? I had my share of trouble, but I never landed in K-State. I got a job for you. Larson was on a run yesterday. Passed through Marion Forks, said he saw someone. Young woman looked like, but he only caught a glance. He stopped to look around, but he never found her. Is he sure? Larson's been doing this long as you. He knows a person from a freak. But you got a knack for this. You head over there and find her before the freaks do. I'll see what I can do. But look, talk, I want the rest of my credits for Leon. You bring me warm bodies, I'll give you all the credits you can spend. I gotta go find Wheeler. Someone's looking at a night in the shack. Alcott. What do you want, Drifter? What's your problem? Hmm? One of my men uh, escaped to Ripper Camp over by Iron Butte. Got tortured, like they always do. But this time they kept asking me if he knew about it. Two bikers, two men, asking me if he'd ever seen them or heard of them. A lot of bikes around here. What's it, <laughs> what's it got to do with me? The Ripper called them mongrels. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that shit matters. If you ask me, you got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? Now, why don't you just show me what you got because I don't have time for your bullshit. Whatever you say, Deke.
Thanks. Get back to work. Hey, back to work. Can I get anything else for you? That right there, good piece. Okay, sure. I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to. We can't head north until I get this bike fixed up. Copeland it is. How's it going? Hold on, I'm coming. You're gonna die out here. I know of a camp where it's safe. Camp? Yeah, yeah. Where? Uh, sh show me. Where? I I'll go. I'll go. Peaceful Lake. Mark Copeland. It's safe there. Oh, man, I... I was done for. Holy shit. You know? Thank you so much. Oh, man. Tell them it was Deacon. They'll know. Stay off the main roads. Don't stop. St. John. It's I haven't seen Boozer in a few days. He used to do runs for me, is all. I know you ride with him. You tried to radio him. Can't seem to reach him. When you see him, Tell him to swing by and say hello to Cope. Much appreciated. Cope now. Take it 
St. John, you out there? We've got a job for you here at the Hot Springs. Doctor, okay, I'll head your way. St. John out. St. John, this is Tucker. Like I said before, I haven't seen Boozer Sweet Face around these last few days. You sure he's all right? This is Deacon. Boozer's fine. Like I said, he's just been busy. Doing runs for that son of a bitch Mark Copeland, no doubt. I get the feeling he doesn't like me much. Boozer, I mean. Like I said, I ain't his old lady. Deacon out. That's right, I gotta finish burning out these nests. I guess I'll come back here and finish burning this infestation so I Man, I'm tracking down. Wait. 
Tokyo. Why do you care? It's just another bounty job, isn't it? Now look, I don't care. I just want to know their names. Who, Cope? One of them is a man named Randall. Been with the camp almost a year. I didn't know the other two. You want me to ask? No, I guess not. You find that son of a bitch, you radio me. Copeland out. Bye. There he is! Silver helmet, red gas tank. That's him. Oh shit! The hell? So you thought you'd ride into Copeland's camp, shoot the place up, that about right? Kill a few folks, take some shit, just ride out, or you just. Chill. Shot Manny, you know who fixed my bike then? Stupid piece of shit. <laughs> Screw you! You are a Copeland's toadies, you little bitch! That's what you are, you little bitch! Nope, it's done. I got him. Mark down these coordinates and send your men out here. You hear me? Is he alive? Hey, Drifter. Yeah, he's alive. But I won't promise you how long he's gonna stay that way. Deacon out. You tell him, Drifter. You tell him I said go. Check up on you. Yeah, D, come here. Hang in there, buddy. As soon as we get that arm patched up, we're riding north. Just like you said. Nah, I hope so. God, I miss you on the road. You just work on getting better. I still got some work to do on the bike, and we gotta stock up on some gear. But once you're patched up, we're out of here. Get out. Okay, this is it. Yeah, oh, this camp is gonna be crawling. Uh, yeah. Nah, nah, you gotta leave the bike out here, Deke, or it'll pull all of them down on you.
It cope. I think Liam was bringing you this. Deke. <laughs> you made a wise choice. Wise choice. Uh, you go see Manny. Maybe he can help you with that bike of yours. <laughs> Deke, you keeping an eye out?